Paros, centrally located in the Cyclades archipelago in the Aegean Sea, is home to the town of Parakeia. The Acropolis of Parakeia overlooks the town and port and has a unique and ancient history. Built over two and a half thousand years ago, the first structure on the Acropolis was a temple dedicated to the Greek goddess Athena. The Temple of Athena, which lay in the Acropolis of Paros, was dedicated to Athena Promachos. Athena, like all the other ancient gods, would be worshipped under different names and attributes which describe different aspects of their personality. Promachos is the one who fights in front of everybody else, so she obviously is a war goddess there. Maybe not an aggressive goddess, but surely a goddess that would fight to defend the city that was under her protection. The Temple of Athena was built in the 6th century BC, more specifically between 530 and 520 BC. The Temple of Athena must have been abandoned around the end of the 3rd, beginning of the 4th century, around 300, when Christianity starts to take over, and the ancient temples are abandoned and gradually fall into ruins. The Temple of Athena Promachos went neglected for centuries following the decline of paganism. Then, in the 18th century, Mother Nature contributed to the temple's ultimate demise. Another event that contributed to the destruction of this temple was an earthquake that took place in the beginning of the 18th century and the gradual deterioration of the hill, uh, which means that three quarters of the temple collapsed into the sea and uh, are not visible anymore. In the 13th century, the Venetian Empire occupied Paros and recognized the strategic potential of the Acropolis. In 1260, the Venetians scavenged the marble from the ruins of the Temple of Athena and built a tower. From this vantage point, they were able to overlook the port. The tower is one part of a more elaborate fortification. The entire structure is more extensive and is known as the Frankish Castle. Frankish is a term archaeologists and historians use to describe the peoples of Western Europe in the Byzantine period and in the period that follows. Uh, maybe the term Venetian would be more correct, more precise, since it was the Venetians, people from the Venetian Republic, that built the castle and the tower. The Frankish castle, also known as the Castro to locals, extends well into the city, not just on the top of the Acropolis. The Castro includes small homes, meandering streets and archways and was built in such a way as to confuse anyone who tried to navigate it. I think uh, we have to understand the castle part, not so much as a castle the way we usually imagine castles in uh, Central Europe or in Northern Europe, but more like the, uh, an organized town which uh, has as a main goal the defense of the people. From the 7th to the 11th centuries, pirate raids plagued Paros, leaving the island virtually abandoned for extended periods of time. The Castro became its strongest defense. Venetian soldiers used the tower and winding streets of the castle to confuse and fend off these pirates. In the 13th century, and generally in the Byzantine period, there is a great and constant threat to the islanders that comes from the pirates. The pirates that sail through the Aegean Sea attack the Greek islands. In addition to defending the city from pirates, the Castro also provided protection from the harsh elements of the Aegean. If one takes into consideration the particular climate of the islands, then one understands that there was another purpose that these castles served, and that was to protect the people, not just from the enemy, the way they are made, the winding streets like a maze in, within the castle. They reduce the strength of the wind, they limit the exposure of the houses to the heat and to the sun, or to the cold in the winter time. Four centuries after the construction of the Frankish castle, Another structure was built on the Acropolis, right next to the now unrecognizable remains of the Temple of Athena Promachos. On the top of the Castro, we have the Church of Agios Constantinos with its blue dome that can be seen almost from everywhere. 
It uh, is a very recognizable landmark of the town and of the Castro. It was built in the 17th century, like most chapels within the old town of Parigia. What has happened is that the southern wall of the temple, of the ancient temple of Athena, has become actually the northern wall of the chapel of the church of Agios Constantinos. The church of Agios Constantinos is one of the 38 churches in the town of Parakia. Its position atop the Acropolis grants everyone, both inland and at sea, a striking view. Today, the church is only open a few days a year to celebrate its Saints' Day and for special occasions. Still, the Acropolis remains an historic monument to the town, triumphantly overlooking the port and protecting the city, just as it has been for thousands of years.